Ah, now we were safe. Choo choo! Monkey car! I always wanted to, like, at the end of stage, go over in that shower thing over there. I know that was And it never happened. Aw, oh, cry. Uh, any, who's gonna, you know, really you want to put down some time to right. yeah. uh, All I know is, I would be in the I'd be right in that pack. Yeah, so you like, I'd be in the Jay, I'm pretty sure you get, you'd, uh, you'd be surging to the lead right about now. <laughs> and, alright, here's what happened. Jake would be in front. 413. He'd be in the lead. Actually, what am I doing? <laughs> Golden boy. Now, Wade would try to pass you and you would surge. <laughs> Sixty-three to the four hundred. Yo, Jake, which color is Gil? Gil's not in there. Why? I don't know. Gil's not in there. That's weird. He didn't run the two mile either. Like, is he not running? I don't know. My coach said he died in the two mile. I didn't see him. Huh? Maybe he's getting maybe that was that ticket. Wait a minute. Gil the guy. Bad Oh. Jeez. Oh, well, all right. Well, I call Endress then. I definitely call Endress. Now approaching the work stand, we have our double boy 1600 meter run medalist for 2011. In eighth place, from New Skoko High School, Brendan Shearn, a time of 4:28:35. Because that's what happens when you have beautiful form. Nathan Knoll, Kirkstown, 427-69. Six, Andrew Morgan. Beautiful form, Jake. Beautiful form. Dude, he just ran a he just ran a 60. Like a 62 or something. Yeah. Because he just went through a PR and they Jordan Jackson, 423-61. Second, Ryan Travers, North East, 